already done a video on how to use Canvas Studios, the basics of it, how to record and how to upload them. So now we're gonna look at how to add a quiz on top of a video that you've either recorded or uploaded, so a YouTube video. Um, you can see here that you have, with these three dots, the option to either create a quiz here. Um, if you already have, you can see right here, there's a little rocket ship icon. Uh, if you have that, that means that you already have a quiz on top of a video. So if I click those three dots, now I see quizzes and I can use this one, edit this one, or add a quiz here. So the nice thing with adding a quiz on any of your videos is there are going to be stop points where the students will be stopped, they'll be prompted to answer a question, and you will get data on who watched your videos and the answers from your students. Let's add a quiz on top of a video. I'm gonna use this video here. We're gonna go all the way up to create quiz. So once you have a video title and a description, you have options below. This one hides the question markers for the students. So it's not similar to Edpuzzle where it stops the students from being able to watch the whole thing. However, it does hide questions. So probably would be a lot harder on the students to click around and try to find it than if they just watch it. So this feature right here, allow display and annotation. If you have annotations on your video, they will show up along with the questions on your quiz. I have annotations on my video, so I'm gonna click that too. Now we'll be taken to our video and I would play through, watch it, and when you're ready to add a question, you're gonna hit pause and you're gonna add and you have three choices here. So you wanna do a multiple choice. I can vary points by answer which for this case I wouldn't want to, but you can see here, you can shuffle your choices, which I usually always do, and you can also add question feedbacks. Thank goodness for spell check and provide general feedback too if you want. So there's your question, you can hit, you can edit it if you want. I don't want to, so we're just gonna discard that and it's there. I'm gonna keep playing. So then here, I'm going to add a true or false. I'd probably be more specific than that, but. And then let's go here. And then let's have some multiple answers. choices, save, and those are your three options. Right now, you don't have the ability to have students respond in a short answer or a extended response. I've heard rumors that that is going to be changing here soon, so be on the lookout for that update. They are slowly updating some of the Canvas Studio features, so I think that is one on the horizon. When you're done, you have that done button up here. I'm gonna hit done, and now in my Jamboard one step, I have, oh, I have two of these. Which ones did I just do? This one is not it. So I'm gonna rename this, delete this. Well, I'll just delete the quiz here. So now let's go to quizzes, example quiz, and you can see questions right here. Um, for the students, they will not see where these questions are if you have the hidden questions on. So now, if we're going to use the quiz that we made on top of the video, we're going to embed it differently. 
I would use the plugin if it's just a video that you're doing. But right here, I'm going to say, watch the video and answer the questions. I'll make it five points. Okay, I refresh so that pop up isn't there. I'm going to find studio. Now I'm going to find my video that I have. Remember the rocket ship icon will show that it's a quiz you have. If you have multiple quizzes, you can find them here. I just have one. So embed, select. You can have this be limited or unlimited. I'll just keep it to that. Save oh, Canvas Studio example. Save. Now let's see what it looks in student view. So the, they will do get started here. And it will play the video. And a question pops up. They could do rewatch. So it's going to rewatch the portion that they probably needed to answer the, the question. And you can see there's no questions on here. Now they can skip forward, but this is what it would look like. You're going to see in your analytics that they just kept doing this, and it's really hard to find those questions. So that's why it's important to have that conversation with your students that um, you're not going to tell them how many questions you could, but it's important for them to watch the whole video so they have the questions pop up. So now that they have completed the quiz, they're going to hit submit quiz and they can do view results and it shows their answer right here, one out of three. And if you have the option that you let them retake it, they can click that again, they can retake their quiz. They, you can see the feedback there. So I can go back to my assignment and what I see then, I can go to quiz results. I can see the students who answered it, their grade, how much time they spent on it. If I go to speed grader, it will not let me see the quiz results here. It will let me change the grade here, add comments like usually does. If I go into my studio, I can also view the quiz results right here too. So now, no reports yet for the item analysis, but if I go to student reports, it shows me right here. So if you need to change your student grade, you could do that in Gradebook or SpeedGrader. You can see how awesome the analytics are, how cool, it's easy to embed, you can upload videos, you can upload YouTube videos or your own videos and add a quiz on top of that, and you get data right here. The nice thing with embedding studio videos compared to just adding a video how you normally do is that you have analytics on top of that. So if we go into studio, we can go here, we can go to our studio in our menu. I can hit view and I can go to insights. And this shows me that I had one student watch it here and they so you can see how it's choppy they didn't watch the whole video or this would be complete here um, they kind of skipped around and watched a little bit here and there and it shows me who that student so since that's my test student tells me who the student is and then the completion rate and then it shows me where they complete where they watch the video when you can also download a spreadsheet that makes it easier to sort your students by last name. You can um, add conditional formatting on the spreadsheet so that it gives you color code based on their completion rate. So it makes it easier to read, easier to use. Not knowing how long it's gonna take Canvas to update their studio so that students can respond to open-ended questions. I'm going to show you how you can put it in your quiz instructions here. So I have my quiz opened up. 
You can put a Canvas Studio video in an assignment, a page, or a quiz. So if I'm going to put it in my quiz, I'm going to click the icon, the plug icon, find my video, select here. You can have just your video. You can also have your quiz embed. So for this example, I'm just going to do my video without my quiz, embed that on there. So I'm going to do this again, unclick my embed options, embed that. So now it's just the video. I'm going to add a prompt up here. Uh, watch the video and respond to the question. So if we go into student view, let's see what this looks like. Now I have watched the video and respond to the questions. So here's my video and here's my question. It's a workaround to the open-ended response. However, it's not as nice with the questions popping up within the video. You can't add this to a certain point of the video. This would just be kind of watch this video and answer these questions. So it's not as nice as having it where it's prompted, but it's still a workaround if you want students to answer higher order questions instead of just the multiple choice, the true or false, or the um, choose and answer. So there's a lot you can do with studio and quizzes. You can see that you can add it on YouTube and on your videos that you make and the results from the quizzes from your students are pretty awesome and the best feature is it's all in Canvas. Thanks for watching and make sure you follow our channel for more tech tips.